He wasn't my type at all. My type is actually Paul Walker recipes. What more do you <laughs> but want from me? <laughs> he wasn't my type at all. And my don't, type is not white. I'm just saying I was more interested don't in touch me. Paul and every don't, fast and furious. Don't touch me. And you know what's funny about that? The way me and my wife started talking, she was actually like interested in my best friend. I mean, this was in high school. This was damn near 16, 17 years ago. But she had a crush on my best friend. And, like, me and her became cool. And then we started liking each other. Which is crazy. But in this situation here, she uh, she should have kept that to herself. She should have took that to the grave. Put a finger down if the Miami-Dade Police Department calls you and tells you that they have recovered your husband's body and he is dead by apparent suicide. So you and your family plan his funeral. And everyone is shocked that this happened. But you're on bad terms with your ex-husband's family, so you stay in California and they stay in Florida while they plan the funeral. And you don't go to the services in Florida because his family said it'd be way too traumatic if you were to show up because you guys were on bad terms because you were in the middle of a divorce with your husband. So throughout this entire process, you talk to a coroner's office, you talk to a funeral home, you make arrangements, you even pay for things. Mm. And you believe that on January 22nd, your husband took his life and it is now March. And you spend months grieving and you even think about unaliving yourself because you feel like you're the one that did it. Mm. And one day you go on live on TikTok and someone tells you to check your DMs because they have information regarding your husband. Mm. And you open the DM only to find out that your husband is not only alive, but he is living in Mexico with his mistress of six years who he's been having an affair with. Ooh, hey. Hey, look, let me tell y'all something. Let me tell y'all something. I ain't never had no no uh no Mexican pussy boy, but I done heard that Mexican pussy how you doing some strange things. <laughs> I, I work with Hispanic people and I'm telling you that it's something about that goddamn guacamole. I'm about to say guacamole. I can't call the pussy guacamole. It's it's something about that goddamn uh 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 fajita boy. Woo! Tom, Nick, do you know how good some gotta be for you to fake your death he faked his death over that over that side i just i just had to add that in there. oh god how do i tell this again legally um i had a man um take several steps into my apartment or it was supposed to be my first ever booty call he uh <laughs> collapsed three steps in he broke all of his front teeth they Whoa. flew across my apartment uh Oh he split his chin open <gasps> oh and collapsed, God. and it's because he had misused a drug that excites <gasps> a man's sausage. Oh my! It's the only way I could say that. <laughs> so, so, you know what? Look at his face. That's the worst. That's the worst. That's the worst. I ain't no way I'm going out like that. I'm still taking it down. I might show up after after I leave the ER. What's the most a guy should spend on a wedding ring? I definitely want a huge rock, so I'm gonna guess that it, it probably costs about at least like five hundred thousand dollars. What? <laughs> Does it cost? What? Five hundred? What? Five hundred thousand, bitch. Fuck. That much? I, like would, that I would say maybe like I don't really know, but I would at least hope somebody's spending like thirty thousand. Thirty. Right? Like, is that the amount? 50? For a ring? Like, it was so I'm just asking you what you think. I think, yeah. I mean, I don't know. Like, 20 to. I think definitely in the 10,000 range. Like, 10, 30, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 something. And above. Like, That's a lot, bitch. Not 10. I said, like, 30. Okay, so 30,000 is the max you should spend on a ring. I mean, I don't know how much rings cost. But I have no idea. But I'm definitely still going for it at. I want a big ass rock, so I'm guessing it's gonna cost like a lot of money. For him spending 500k, what does he get from you? Mm. Hopefully, I get to be the mother of the kids. Mm. I get to live a beautiful dream life. No, 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 bitch. Career. What does he get? What does he bomba clock get? You talking about you get to be the mother of the kids? <laughs> and I support him. For my ring, my cost, I say 
say like fifty thousand. He definitely will have a loving wife, a loving mother okay. of the kids, a supportive person overall, and do you cook? Careers and everything. So yeah, that shit just got me upset, bro. Maybe maybe they don't know no better. Does body count matter? No, I heard it doesn't. It doesn't fucking matter because it's a stereotype where boys can have a very high body count, but girls have to be below ten, and that's retarded. You've heard about the about the key in the lock, right? <laughs> if one key can open many locks, it's a master key. As opposed to if a lock is opened by many keys, it's a shitty lock. That's what right. I'm saying. Hey. But why can guys have sex with any girl they want to? It doesn't matter. Do you care about it? Guys can technically not have sex with any girl they want to. Like, women can have sex with damn near anybody they want to. Whereas guys, we have to be chosen. If a guy has a high body count? No. Do you care about if a woman has a high body count? Yes, only because the woman decides whether she wants to have sex or not. The guy only gets to have sex with who he's allowed to have sex no. with. No, girls have the same wants and needs. Is that, is that not true? What's a high body count to you, Bash? I'm not talking about. I'm not talking about numbers. I'm just saying, guys can have sex with who they're allowed to have sex with. So do we. Girls have sex with who they want to have sex with. That's a fact. That's a fact. Is that, is that Preach that. that. Not true? That's on. not true. So it has been people that wanted me to do a video on body counts. And um, I'm probably going to have to dedicate a whole video to it. But what I would tell you is that for me, I don't particularly trust women that have high body counts. And that's from my past experience and me living through my friends because I have a lot of single friends and you know they come through with a lot of stories what I realize is that women who have high body counts when they enter relationships they already have one foot out the door some of y'all may not admit it but every female knows who she's gonna replace you with just in case you mess up you know what I'm saying it's always a dude that's next in line a good woman would stay away from him because she don't want them problems. But women who've had a lot of partners, they tend to keep their options open more. And that all boils down to experience. You know what I'm saying? The more experience you have, the more comfortable you are with doing certain things. Women who don't have that many, that much experience, that much sexual partners, they tend to be more introverted when it comes to dating and just going out there, which will make them, you know, Work at relationships more. That's my take on it. Y'all tell me if I'm wrong. Maybe I'm wrong, but that's how I feel about it. That's why if I was to try to find a... Let's say me and my wife didn't work out and I was dating and I was trying to find somebody that I wanted to take serious. If you had a lot of sexual partners, I wouldn't take you serious. 